mirror, mirror on the wall, what is the newest plugin of the model? Well, at the time of the taping of this video. Apparently, you can see into the future. What does it have in store for me? Happiness? Good health? Maybe my YouTube channel will get a little bit bigger? <clears throat> well, I don't know what it has in store for me, but I do know what's in store for you. I got a review on Mirror from United Plugins. Why don't you join me? Hey there, I'm Dan, the self-proclaimed lonely rocker. Welcome to this episode of I Don't Have a Band. And yes, today we're taking a look at Mirror from United Plugins, specifically the JMG team. Now, this is a really interesting plugin. It's described as a reversed negative delay. So at its core, it's a delay plugin, but it's really different than a typical delay. In essence, what it does, it takes your original signal, it reverses it, and then brings it back before the initial sound. So the delay is actually happening before, and we've heard of things like pre-delays and things like that. But uh, the time settings on this plugin are pretty rigid where you've got like a full note, quarter note, half note, and eighth note, and that's it. Uh, but there's a lot of shaping tools and ways you can sort of carve those repeats to make it sit nicely in the track. You can use it as an interesting delay. You can create some interesting reverbs. It's a really, really cool plugin. So why don't we start off by walking through some of the features just to get an idea what it does. All right, so here's Mirror. Uh, it all starts uh, with the presets. I always say that about United Plugins. I sound like a broken record, but it's true. They spend a lot of time and care in preparing a lot of presets, and it's a great way to learn how plugin works. So I always recommend, especially with United Plugins, go through their presets to start. It'll really get you into the plugin a lot quicker, in my opinion. That's how I always start. So in essence, this is a delay plugin. And with every delay, you've got a time setting. Now, the time settings here are very specific, and there's not a lot of them. You've got an eighth, a quarter, a half and a full, uh, and that's it. While I was playing with this plugin, I was wondering what it'd be like to have some more options in terms of time, but I kind of get it because you can get yourself into trouble with this plugin if you're not careful. Anyway, so you've got the four settings here, and then uh, you've got standard wet and dry mix. In this case, you can set the level of the wet signal and the level of the dry signal independently. That's nice. It gives you more interesting blends. It gives you a little more flexibility in terms of getting the right mix between the initial sound and the affected sound. Uh, I'm going to go through some of these other uh, features in a second. So let's start off. Um, also, too, we've got the, the power is your uh, your bypass so uh, let me show you uh, what I've got here I've recorded my voice just saying one two and I put it on the loop so let me take a listen to that one two one two one two all right so now I'll turn on the plugin so we can just start to get an idea what the plugins doing one two one two one I'll step through the different uh, time selections one, two one two one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Uh, so in terms of blending and shaping and making it fit, there's some interesting features here. Now, the trim, I really like the trim feature because what it does now... As you understand, the signal has been reversed. So the initial transient of the signal, especially think of a snare drum. In this case, I did one, two. Obviously, the, the transient is more obvious on the word two. When you reverse that signal, the t is on the end, and it can become a little bit uh, confusing and just sort of make a mess of the sound. So the trim works in milliseconds, and it allows you to trim the initial head of the signal, which is now on the back end, hopefully I'm not confusing you, and sort of remove that transient if necessary if you find it getting in the way. Let me, let me demonstrate this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solo the effect so we can just hear it and then I'll play with the trim so you can clearly hear what it's doing. So you can hear we're losing that really harsh transient now at the end of that loop or that uh, that effect, uh, that initial t of the two is gone. Now there's some other interesting features here to make that even more interesting, and I'll demonstrate that. Here we can add, uh, we have some actually reverb that we can add to that repeat. So again, I'll, I'll uh, dial it in a little bit just so you can hear that effect. No. 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 And now I'll blend back in the original signal so we can hear those are working together. 
So the other thing we can do with the plugin is this blur feature. What this does, it adds like a short reverb, kind of lets you diffuse that effect a little bit. Again, it's a, it's a blending option. So I'll dial in a little bit uh, just so you can hear what it's doing. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So now I'll take this effect and let's try the different time intervals. One, two. So the other thing that we can do here with the plugin is that we have some filters. We've got a high pass and a low pass. Now this affects the affected signal and not the original signal. So again, we're looking to blend those two together to create a favorable effect. This gives us another opportunity just to carve that signal a little bit, just to make it sit a little better. So let me just uh, play with it now. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So that's more reverb. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. By the way, I should mention the reverb. Actually, the reverb is applied before the reverse effect, so they can give you some really killer reverse reverb effects. I can think of a snare drum that would be an awesome application for something like that. So it'll apply the reverb, then it'll flip it. That's what helps accentuate that really interesting sound. Well, what I've done is I've prepared some sound samples just to give you an idea how we can apply this on a couple of different instruments. Let's take a look at that. So in this first example, I've applied mirror to a drum loop. Now you definitely can apply it to individual drum components, but I decided to try it on the loop to see what it can do. Now, because we have the ability to trim the transient off the end, which is actually the front, uh, to clean up any uh, conflicts. So I definitely did that here. Uh, wet is at about 12 o'clock. Uh, the dry signal is pretty loud. I still want the main drum loop to be prominent. Uh, I'm using uh, the half time setting here. I've dialed in quite a bit of reverb and a little bit of blur just again to diffuse and blend that a little bit. Uh, the high pass, I'm getting a little bit of the bottom end out of there, and I actually uh, rolled off quite a lot from the top. So let's take a listen to the before and after. If you find yourself pondering whether or not you're going to pick up Mirror, perhaps you'd consider doing something that would really help this channel. Uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell, even leave me a comment. It all goes a long way to helping this channel and I really appreciate it. All right, let's get back to Mirror. In this next example, I tried Mirror on guitar. I was really excited to try this on guitar because I just knew I would come up with some really cool stuff and uh, definitely Mirror did not disappoint. So to start, I went with the half time setting and the wet and dry are both around two o'clock. Uh, again, I just find that trim feature works really, really well. I found when you don't do it, that initial attack just seems to get in the way. I'm certain there's certain applications where that'll be favorable, but in the examples that uh, I, I was trying it on, it just seemed to make a lot of sense to get it out of there. So uh, the trim is set to 46 milliseconds, uh, quite a lot of reverb here and a lot of blending. And in terms of high pass, again, a bit on the bottom end and rolled off a little bit at the top. Let's take a listen.
In this next example, I'm looking at mirror on another guitar part. Sorry guys, I'm a guitar player, but a delay is definitely a staple for a guitar player. And uh, often what I'll do on a solo or a melody is I'll sometimes set competing delays. It's something actually I learned from uh, Alex Leipzig from Rush, who was very well known for using a lot of delays at a certain period in his career, where you basically take two different delays at two different speeds and just create some interesting blends. In this case, we're using this pre-delay effect and then blending in some reverb just to create a really interesting sound. So with this one, uh, the dry signal is up quite loud and uh, the wet signal again around two o'clock. Now I went with the eighth of this one. So this is a short delay, so it's not gonna be as obvious, but it should work to sort of fatten up the sound a little bit. And then using a lot of reverb and some diffusion just to create some interesting uh, blending. And again, the trim, I've got that pretty high. This is set to about 39 milliseconds. Now, in terms of the, the filters, I'm using the high pass. I'm rolling off a lot of that bottom end. I typically do that when I'm EQing the guitars in general, uh, but uh, I don't want these repeats to get in the way of other parts of the song and that, that would be my thinking. And then a little bit off the top end, but I still want to keep some of that brightness there because I think it would add a little something to the part. Let's take a listen to it. So as I was playing with Mirror, I found myself getting really creative. It's just a really interesting effect, very non-typical, right? You know, not the what I would typically expect from a delay. It responds quite differently. So it really allowed me to be creative and come up with some interesting sounds. So I decided to throw everything together and threw a couple other things in the mix. Even that one-two count, uh, I've got some synth in here, some synth bass, and I've got Mirror all over this project. So I want to play it back for you, perhaps exploring the lighter side of the Lonely Rocker, but let's hear how it all sounds together. You know what? I love this plugin. It's really cool. You know, when you're looking for something different, you know, delays are delays and you can get really creative with the delay, but this is something that responds differently. It just doesn't give you what a standard delay will give you. It's focused on something completely different and that's gonna help you create some more unique sounds. There's a lot of applications for this plugin. I've just shown you a couple here, but I'm certain you're gonna find a lot of uses for it. I don't think it's one of those plugins you're gonna, it's gonna be like a go-to and use it on every track. In fact, I think it's a little bit heavier on the CPU because there's a bit of processing going on in here, uh, but certainly it delivers some extremely creative results. And I can imagine there's just so many different things that you can try it on, vocals for sure, uh, I don't sing, so I couldn't really demonstrate that, but you'll definitely find a lot of uses for it. So give it a try and let me know what you think about it. Well, there you have Mirror from United Plugins. I hope I've given you enough to reflect on. Uh, see what I did there? Anyways, if you want to check it out, I'm going to put a link in the description. United Plugins offers free trials on all of the plugins, so there's no risk. You can try it out and see if it uh, works for you. If you do, let me know in the comment section. If you do want to support this channel, like, subscribe, ring the bell. I've got links in the description, different ways you can engage with me and support the channel. I'm on Patreon. I have affiliate links, all sorts of stuff in the description, check it out. But the most important thing is to check out another video. I've got one waiting for you right here. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. And I look forward to seeing you again in another video.